What is up, homies? Welcome back to another reaction from Heroes Reforged. Tonight, we're watching the seventh episode of She-Hulk Attorney at Law. As you can see, Hector's still not here. He will be back next week from Italia, unless the dinosaurios got him, then, you know, who knows, who knows, who knows. I mean, if you guys wanna see the uncut reaction, you can go to patreon.com slash Heroes Reforged. We have the uncut reactions for this show and or Superman Lows, The Boys, so much stuff. And very, very soon, actually this weekend, we're gonna be starting our spooky season watch alongs. We're gonna be launching yeah. Halloween on October 1st. Weekend after that, we'll be doing Halloween and Halloween Kills, and then we'll be capping mm -hmm. it off with Halloween Ends, which is coming very, very mm -hmm. soon. At the end of the month, we're gonna be doing a Cabinet of Curiosities from Guillermo del Toro. And of course, we're gonna yep. be doing Werewolf by Night as well. So lots of yep. stuff coming to Patreon. It's gonna be a very fun, spooktacular month on the Patreon. Yeah. And if you're wondering, of course, most of that stuff will be coming to YouTube as well. So be on the mm -hmm. lookout. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that red button, turn it gray. Let's get to 100K. We're getting so damn close. Very, very exciting getting times. There, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, what, what are we at right now? Currently, as of recording this, we are at 93,970. So Ooh, let's, let's get us go. up there. We got let's go, let's go. Last week, right before we started recording the reaction or at, right at the top of the video, I made the prediction or I made the fun joke, I should say. It would be hilarious mm -hmm. if Daredevil actually didn't show up and Jen Walters directly addressed it. What did she do? She directly addressed it and we knew that Daredevil is pretty much not gonna like be in that episode. <laughs> I actually put a poll in our Discord today, so check out our Discord. Link's down in the description as always. And I asked the audience if mm -hmm. they think that Daredevil will show up in this episode, won't show up at all, or if he will show up in like the last couple of minutes as a cameo to set him up for the next mm -hmm. episode. I don't mm -hmm. think he's showing up again. I think they're gonna push it to the to the penultimate <laughs> just At a prediction point, but i could be wrong be last episode yeah i i have a feeling that it's going to be like a last episode reveal uh probably pretty big setup for something that's going to happen afterwards i have no idea what it is it's just a prediction on my end but yeah, yeah yeah something tells me that by the end maybe the last two episodes maybe even this episode there might be a major tonal shift with the with the mm -hmm. character or with the show yeah so like kind of starts kicking off jen into the superhero realm because right, right. now she's still very much against it so mm -hmm. I'm I'm curious I'm ready uh, whenever you are Adam just count us down right. ready to go okay here we go <laughs> oh she's still talking to Josh okay okay, okay. okay. Ooh, copyright claims. Yeah, we love them. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> mute it. Just God mute damn it. All the way. Show the footage. Mute the music. Yeah. We ain't getting a strike, baby. Oh, that was a great cut. Look at this guy. No. I, In his no, classic man. Mercedes. What's going to happen? Oh, my God. He's going to die or something. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. With a handshake, wow. Makes sense. <laughs> hey, keep it on silent, Jen. <laughs> Dang. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, she is, she's falling in deep. Aye. Dang. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. okay. Okay, third date. All right, third date. Someone was playing hide the zucchini last night. <laughs> I wonder if she has shown him no, the book form. No. Oh no! Oh, that's what he wanted, son of. Oh no, <laughs> he's not gonna text back. Oh god, if this goes downhill, he's not. Oh my God, this is tragic. No. Oh, why? No. no. Why? Oh. Why? Are you going down a rabbit hole on that intelligentsia site? I don't care what a bunch of losers say about me online. Can't even say it to my face because they know they get Hulk smashed. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's very true. There's literally no reason in this day and age to not respond to a text. He could be. That's true. Weddings, mm -mm. funerals, job interviews, silent retreat. I hope mm -mm. he's at all of those today. <laughs> oh, oh no! Man. Are you serious? No. Uh, Are you that kidding dude, me? That dude only How? had. That dude did not have good intentions. I'm sorry. That dude was. He was. That uh, dude was there to get some Hulk DNA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. You have danced right on over to why I called. 
We don't have the resources for a squad of uniforms to go with me, so we need I was hoping you'd meet me there. We need you to hulk out, you know? Work on a Sunday. I figure my chances of staying out of the ICU would be much greater if I had a Hulk there with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not plans interrupting your weekend you. plans, am I? No. No. <sighs> I hate Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that a mug with a J on it? Oh, okay, because it's Gen 2, okay. Dang. You, stop doing that. You're gonna get in a car accident. Uh -huh. There you go. Some Hanson, let's go, baby. <laughs> oh, Jen, 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 Jen. What's Jen, Jen, Jen. You're conking your horn. And then what are you? Put on my green suit. Yeah, get big. Jolly green yourself, I don't know what you call it. Hulking out. <laughs> okay, good. Good lord. <laughs> Stay away from the electric fence, maybe? Then I won't have to make any more scary trips up here. <laughs> Not that I don't no. like coming up here. No. I just, yeah. Well, come, come back anytime. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. I want to get out of here. I don't want to be here. I'm out. Hey. Goodbye. I thought you worked really hard to get out of prison and that you'd be really dumb to go back there. All right, true that. Oh, sorry. True that. I thought I heard a ding. <sighs> She's obsessed. Lord. On this expedition, so I'm gonna get moving. Oh my God! What, what in the hell? Wait. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Grab him by the horns. <laughs> Two men working through their resentments in a safe environment, Jen. Sorry, that's my fault. You know what? Apologize to my Prius Prime with money. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Blonsky has actually taught me a lot about taking responsibility for my anger. Brother Blonsky, is that what he just said? Yep, just call him Brother Blonsky. I am not the one with the issues. All right. <laughs> I know exactly who I am. <laughs> I am a swashbuckler. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to go home now? You know, sometimes a life presents oh God, a God, is she going to stay on the retreat? Oh God, yeah. Think of this totally knackered Prius Prime as your teacher. That was nothing. Okay. You just said nothing in response to a very straightforward. Yeah. <laughs> Do I look like a mechanic? Oh. My name is Man Bull, not Mechanical Bull. Ooh. Wow. How long have you been waiting to say that? Good Lord. <laughs> that was a rough joke. <laughs> rough joke. How is that fantastic news? Well, it means that you can spend some time here. You know? I think they wrecked her car on purpose now. Okay, it's so over bush. there is the Wood Lodge where I offer private spiritual consultation. He is either completely reformed or absolutely unhinged. <laughs> I think he's working for somebody. In our ceremonial sweat year, we integrate yeah, if he ends up on Thunderbolts. and the present into one being. Who's funding all of this? this yeah, that's exactly where I was going with this. So if you could get me a desk and some Wi-Fi. So it's a, it's a bit of a hard ask, I'm afraid. Down the uh, Wi-Fi front, we don't carry it as a policy. What in the world is happening? What's going on? Yeah, I was having the same thought though. But like, where's the funding coming from? What are his real intentions? Because yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've yeah. spent we've spent so much little time with him that I feel like they are potentially building something with this character right. about his yeah, future yeah, yeah. intent. I was in the cars of being a bomb, baby. You can have a ticket, might not be your time, but oftentimes I gotta remind myself to combine. Oh, that's oh. ng ng. Uh oh, they were trying to get her there. You remember El Aguila and Mambo? Uh-huh. Uh, this is Porcupine. He's a Porcupine. And Saracen <laughs> thinks he's a vampire. Wow, this is quite a group. Uh-oh. I'm just going to work oh, over here in the one square meter of this property that actually has reception. Okay. This is either genuine group therapy or... <laughs> Spanish is a language, not a nationality, so... You've never heard of Spain? Look, I know it's not your fault. <laughs> so that's <laughs> Manbull and El Aguila have been spending a lot of time together. I'm feeling like maybe it's not healthy. Mm -hmm. Unhealthy. I knew what I called that too. I'm sorry. <laughs> Important it is to the process. Yes. Yeah. How taking your suit off would be a great first step. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, please. Really needed it though. I Wait. was hurting for a year. That guy's here? You probably don't even remember who he is. Tell me they previously on. I don't remember who he is. We're doing it again. Is he? Um, is it previously the on this guy. 
<laughs> oh, this guy. Oh, okay. Okay, Let's see? Yep. <laughs> Just like we thought. It's all connected. Yep. Hard to tell when you surf in the Yurto, right? Oh, hey. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. Let it go, man. What the hell? <laughs> oh, you attacked a woman four to one. You absolutely were super villains. I hear you, Jen, and I'm very, very sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> man, I think you want to get off your chest? Nope. Look at you. You are glued to that thing. This was a setup. They're trying to get her to reveal some info. When's the last time you talked to him? Uh, three nights ago. When we made love. First off, ew. No. When we slept together for the first time. <laughs> Another direct heat. Oh, oh my lord. Getting a little worried. Just want to know you're okay. Oh, God. Blushing smile emoji. Oh, oh, I love that these are conversations that people actually have. I think that we have to start considering the very real possibility that you were ghosted. Or he wanted your blood. No, not that. Man, stop talking about blood. Not everybody's your dad. Don't talk about my dad. <laughs> Who's your dad? Who wants blood? Where are we going? Where's Samuel Stearns? I met him when I was Jen. The vampire's and right. He did want her blood. He liked Jen. He specifically didn't ask about She-Hulk. Mm-hmm. I wonder why. He could get blood from you. It feels like cheating. Would they like me if I didn't have all of this? Like, if I was just Jen, would the same guys who like She-Hulk stick around for Jen? Because... As we saw... All of them don't. Yep. And that sucks for Jen because Jen is great. Jen is Jen. I meet this guy who actually likes Jen. He ghosts me and it sucks. All right, screw this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is you and Hector, 100%. Hey, yep. Josh has made an enemy of this entire group. <laughs> yeah, fuck Josh. Hey, that's all Yo. Oh my God. <laughs> using bioelectricity in group before oh my so, god let's go find this josh guy and suck out all his blood <laughs> <laughs> oh my god does anyone think they could speak to jen's pain with the tools that we've learned in the group oh my god that photo of him in the background against the clouds is so yeah. dumb and so funny it hurts when someone rejects us because it reminds us of the times Checked herself. Wow. Homeboys. Josh deep. thing hurts so much because you haven't been spending enough time with Jen. And that's a shame because I bet Jen is pretty damn great. <laughs> and tasty. <laughs> okay, calm down. Maybe there's a group of guys right here who would love to spend time with Jen right now. Oh, this is a setup. This is the setup. So maybe you can stop using She Hulk as a protective shield and trust us. No, don't trust any no, of them. Absolutely not. Oh no, the way vampire dude perked up, no way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for agents to like rappel down from the ceiling. Yeah. Felt really good, porcupine. Oh, is that gonna be Josh? That's what I that's what I thought the moment that this thing started. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. It smells like a fart. Too much. Oh. It smells like a fart. Delete it. Delete it. Delete it. Delete it. Delete it. Delete it. Oh my god. Okay. How do you feel? But if you stub the text thread in your phone, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm hurting for a year. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what? Oh god. I totally thought it was gonna be like an ambush scene. <laughs> I mean, Is this legit like therapy, the therapy episode. <laughs> I'm still not 100% sold that there is no like, uh, I know. Next time you think of Josh, remember everyone we meet, no matter how much they hurt you, is a lesson learned. Is this pickup driver going to be some ambush? No, they got her swept from the yurt. I don't trust anything that's happening right now, so... <laughs> no, I really don't. <laughs> this whole episode's gonna be, have to be muted, by the way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> There's too many songs in here. Is this like Malibu? It looks like Malibu, oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, three days earlier. 
We're about to find out that he poked her. Not in the good way. <laughs> and got her blood. Yep. Oh, and he copied her phone. Oof. Oh. Oof. Dang. Yep. What would she have on her New phone? Josh I don't Nova. remember. I don't remember. Conversations with, with Bruce. I mean, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you got her blood. Oh, uh, got it. Of course. Of uh, course. Uh, of course. So I think the last two episodes are going to be about Daredevil and She-Hulk trying to retrieve her blood, probably. Trying to retrieve her blood, yeah. Oh my god. At okay. least I, at least that's what I what I think. I am not surprised that this is where it went, because like we were talking about in the last episode, Josh just seemed too good to be true. And that's been the case with every almost every guy that she's interacted with, which sucks. Yeah. But that is kind of real life for a lot of people. And well, I think... I mean, especially her like she's a yeah. superhero yeah i i really wish she had somebody to mentor her like bruce right through all of it yeah and i was like there's a lot of stuff that he could have warned her about totally and i think we've even talked about you know the idea of how much time is bruce going to spend on the show is he going to be a little bit more right. of like a heightened cameo he really was there to kind of set up the, the story and now yeah. it, it yeah. obviously is full-time jen's jen's show but yeah i right. think it would have been so advantageous for her to have that mentor it means that she just has to go through this whole situation alone and as we saw with bruce banner him going through it alone it it was a lot on him just mentally yeah. and physically and you know everyone's yeah. going to deal with it differently like he dealt with it in a very right. unique way where he went on the run but jen is not doing that she's still trying to live her normal life which is right you know very different i'm so curious if we're gonna get a post-credit scene i know i'm really waiting for this post-credit scene i i i think probably this not is, probably not i think this whole series is gonna be nope no there you go no post -credit. i think this whole no series is gonna be jen learning about the weight that she's actually carrying because i feel like she's I feel like she's ignoring She-Hulk to the point where it's going to be a detriment to her. Yeah, like, exactly. I know she has to accept She-Hulk, but like you can't ignore the fact that you're a freaking Hulk at this yeah. point and that you can't just live life normally because people are going to be like looking for your blood or superheroes are going to be trying to get Everyone you. Everyone is or, going to have or, ill intentions. Yeah, like you, you can't really trust anybody and Jen is yeah. sort of still living in that. Well, I'm still Jen and I still get to do what I want, but I get to turn into the Hulk whenever I want as well. Right. And I think it's going to be a rude awakening for the next two episodes. Oh, man, now I'm getting kind of sad. I'm getting kind of sad thinking about how her life's going to get derailed. No, for sure. And I think, and I think, you know, uh, it's such a bummer because I feel like you and I already know what the conversation is going to be like online. I think most people are going to be yeah. like, what was the point of this episode? And I think right. it is such an introspective episode, it's such an opportunity for Jen to kind of look inside of herself and to see yeah. like what is her value and how mm -hmm. her value is perceived by the world and how her value is perceived by her friends, how she thinks right. of herself. And I think that's something that I think we, as people in our thirties, we do that all the time. I think for yeah. the, in the outside world, people will look at us and they think like, well, you guys are living your dream. You're making YouTube stuff. You're having success and da 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 da. But I think what yeah. people wouldn't, think about is the things that like we think about ourselves internally and for me personally it's always like never feel like i'm doing enough never feel like i'm good enough never feel like right. i'm achieving or reaching or getting closer to any of the goals right. that i actually want to be doing so i think that's right. what i've liked about this show so much is that it is less focused on let's blow shit up and let's tell a story that is all about yeah. connecting to secret wars and yeah. the king dynasty let's tell something right. personal now I think there is like a very fair conversation to have about did this show maybe need to do it in nine episodes? Could we have done it in six one hour episodes instead? Yeah. But I think because of the tone of the show and because they were going for a little bit more of this sitcom slash procedural slash very meta self aware show, I think that the 30 minute format is kind of a, I think it's more appropriate for this type of a show. But in terms right. of like what the show is actually doing with the characters and the story it's trying to tell, I, yep. I'm enjoying it. Like I like getting to know so much about this character and what yeah. she's going through. Because if you really think about it, we never had the opportunity to have this with Bruce because of no. the rights issues. Or with really. anybody really with right. anybody like, 
Not even with Tony. Tony was, you know, the leader of the Avengers. We never got to sit down with him and talk about how he felt about the pressure of leading the Avengers. Yeah, I think we Iron Man reacted like the big I think things. Iron Man 3 is probably the most because it was the aftermath yeah. of an alien invasion and we got right, to really see like how reaction. It's like it's very reaction based whereas this moment the the moment that I love so much about this episode is where she's coming to the real, realizations in the group therapy session where she's talking through her issues and I think that's really important for everybody to go through. Mm-hmm. I think it's very important that people specific, specifically for this show go through their emotions and think about why they might have negative reactions to this show and and think about why when we say we like and we enjoy this show why does that make you so angry if it does? Right. And like, is that something that you maybe need to reevaluate? Because this show, mm. we're not saying it's perfect. We're not saying it's the oh, best show that, sure. that's ever been put out by Marvel. We're saying it's a really good character study on this character. Right. We're not saying that you have to watch it. We are saying, give it a fair chance and look at it for what it is rather than what you're expecting it to be, which is a right. daredevil cameo the right. entire season. Right. Uh, and, and you're really missing out if you're if you're really not watching the show and you're really not in looking at it for what it is. You're really missing out on those beautiful character moments like when Jen was trying to connect her. She's, she's having to connect herself with her Hulk self in a mm-hmm. different way that Bruce had to do it. Bruce had to do it yeah. with years of torture years of 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 uh really not understanding what his role is and how to control this thing and she has a very different perspective on it but she still also has to make that connection <clears throat> with her yeah. she and that is what this episode i think was mm-hmm. um and that is probably going to be part of her journey from now moving forward in whatever project she's in next I don't know if it's going to take just one event for her to fully accept it. Just like with Hulk uh, yep. in in uh, in Infinity War, Hulk never came out. Hulk never came out because he was so afraid after he got beat up by Thanos. Mm-hmm. And I'm, yeah, that that makes a lot of sense now. Yeah. Thinking about, I don't know, just all the stuff that like I would probably feel the same way if I was Hulk and I got beat up by Thanos. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm, I, I'm never going to come out again. This show's doing great things, I think. They went as far with Hulk to say, like, he was suicidal. He put a yeah. bullet in his mouth and Hulk spit it out. Yeah, guys like, spit that's, it out. Mm-hmm. that's, that's really heavy. And yeah. it's, yeah. it's one line in Avengers, but it's the delivery of Mark Ruffalo that makes you really realize, like, these characters who, who turn into Hulk like beings, mm-hmm. it, it is a very physical, mental toll. But this show, mm-hmm. because it has the opportunity, because Marvel Studios owns the rights to it, they don't have to deal with Universal, they can use this show to help kind of like encapsulate all of those sorts of emotions and those feelings. Obviously, they're not doing it to the extreme that, you know, Bruce Banner kind of talks about. But still, it's mm-hmm. it's it's using this more humorous, comedic approach to use this like wellness retreat aspect as a metaphor for like going to therapy and talking out your problems yeah. and having okay, someone yeah, yeah. that you can talk to who kind of has like a non-biased lens and can just look at right. you as a person and say and, and just listen and i think that's the biggest be thing honest. yeah be yeah. totally honest and i think that i mean we talk about it people online talk about it how it's really healthy to have that sort of a thing because it helps you talk mm-hmm. through a lot of negative feelings that you have internally about yourself about right. your negative outlook on the world and it can mm-hmm. kind of help you maybe reshape or reframe some of your thinking to not be so right. negative and be more positive and i think you're right this is going to be a part of jennifer's journey through the multiverse saga of accepting the fact that she is she hulk but she is also jennifer yeah. they are one in the same right. and if people don't want to accept you for being both or for being jen and jen being just as cool and just as good of a person as she hulk that's their problem not yours yeah you can't change who you are you have to accept who you are you know and if people whether they're dates or whoever are unwilling to accept that then like that's a them problem but uh, it's also going to be really interesting to do it to see what they do with with the revelation of josh being someone who is working for Samuel Stearns or whoever it is like that's going to break her heart and maybe that's something that puts her even more into a downward spiral of like every time I try to do anything that is a that leads to any sort of like relationship it always has a downward spiral so yeah we'll see I think that's going to lead to some interesting conversations it reminds me a little bit of Rogue's story from the X-Men the the previous uh the 90s X-Men cartoon Mm-hmm. that we've been rewatching strictly for patreon well not strictly for patreon but it's on patreon if you guys yeah. want to check it out 
Um, we've been watching Rogue's story, and that's basically the tragedy of Rogue, right? She is a person who is longing for, you know, some kind of companionship or some kind of a of a semblance of normalcy in her life, and she mm-hmm. can't have it for powers because of right. her mutation. Right. She can't do anything against it, and and yeah. so this is kind of reminiscent of that story and i think i think it's great it's one of the like the great all-time superhero dichotomies really where it's just like you have these amazing awesome powers Mm -hmm. and get in the way of living a normal life and yeah yeah i i think i think that's what really makes is this show more interesting is that they're revealing that little by little every episode Mm -hmm. and now it finally came into like full frame at this point and now we can really get into like the the juiciness of of what she's going to do with this power and mm-hmm. being forced against the wall, basically. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, like, much. what is she going? What is she going to do now? Pretty much, pretty much, yeah. Ooh. And and, uh, um, and, and and for so Hector, this is beautiful because he's get to, he's <laughs> going to get to see Daredevil. He's living his best <laughs> life right now. He got to go to Italy for vacation. Yeah. He got to see yeah. the first four episodes of Andor before he left. He's going to yeah. get to see Daredevil. Man, what a life. I, that son of a bitch. <laughs> some guys get all the luck. I swear. I swear. Uh, what a uh, son of a beach. But guys, let happens, us know your thoughts in the comments below. How did you feel about this episode? How are you feeling about Jennifer Walters' journey to trying to accept her role as She-Hulk or just accepting sort of the responsibility and the pressures that are on her? Uh, let us know because I think it, th- this show, like we're saying, is there's a lot more of a human element, human connection, and I would love to know what people's thoughts are about it. If you were just here hoping to see Daredevil and you're upset about that, then I'm sorry. It just means you have to watch next week's episode and the finale, and yep. you'll, you'll get them exactly. eventually. So don't be too sad. Yep. But let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.